and Jess talks are still going on to fix the state's massive budget gap, but at this point there seems to be no agreement in sight. We're here today no closer to, to a budget agreement than we were a week ago. House Minority Leader Scott Inman says last night a $400 million package was presented with a variety of revenue raising measures, including the cigarette tax earned income tax credit and $50 million in oil and gas credits. There was no agreement. Uh, that happened last night. There was another proposal. And now there's disagreement over changes to gaming. Senate President Pro Temp Mike Schultz says the Republican caucus will not support Vegas style gambling in Oklahoma to that level. It entails dice and, and a full blown roulette oil with the marble, dice and marbles rather than cards. One issue both parties agree on is a cigarette tax, but Inman says that alone won't fill that nearly $400 million hole. And we've said all along that a cigarette tax is just simply a band-aid on a bullet hole. It will not solve the state's budget problems as a standalone issue. Now, if a budget isn't passed by May 19th, a special session will have to be held at a $30,000 cost a day to taxpayers. Reporting live at the state capitol, Kelsey Powell, KOCO 5 News.